It's a busy Wednesday in the case, we got 8 games for you on tap. Let's get right to them. My name is Andrea Sachin here and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We go to Shenzhen, China first, where Colonel Red Star faced Salavatilaya for the second consecutive time. The Dragons won 4-3 in the shootout the day before. But it's a different story today. Salavat get on the board just out of 8 minutes in. Mikhail Bastin tries to the net and scores his first of the year. Even for the period, Wojtek Wolski steals the puck and rushes to the slot, but his shot is stopped by Yuha Metzela. Just keep ahead to the third, 17-year-old rookie Rodion Amirov turns the puck over and Garrett Hunt almost makes him pay for that. Another solid play by Metzela though. Salavat put it away, meter to the period as Maxim Mayorov stuffs it home from the slot. Metzela stops 36 shots for his 20th career shutout in KHL regular season. Salavat Yelayev went 2-0 on the road. And now to Magnitogorsk, where Igor Juraskin and Severstal visit Brennan Kozin and Madalari. Severstal get on the board fast, just 4 minutes in. Dmitry Markov and puts it past Vasily Koshkin for his first of the year. A few moments later, Severstal scored another one, but it's not gonna count as Evgeny Lepinkov obviously kicked the bucket to the net. Second period now, Magnitogorsk on a power play. Brandon Kozin sets up Yegor Yakolov in the high slot, and Yakolov smashes it home. Tie game. Magnitogorsk get on the lead early in the third. This time, Yakolov picks up an assist as Nikolai Kuliman tips it home for his first of the year. 2 1 medaler now. They improve their lead to 3 1 just over a minute later. Vegas Golden Knights prospect Pavel Durafev snipes it past Pagipolsky. But Sarasov bring you back to the one goal differential a few minutes later as they converted a power play. Misha Markov is the second of the night and it's 3 2. Magnitka may have put it away on this rush, but Podipolsky first stops Evgeny Timkin and then Arhip Nikolenko on the follow up chance. Despite Podipolsky's heroics, Magnitka still put the dagger in. Captain Sergei Mazakin bangs it home on a power play and that's game. Metal will take it 4 2 on all mice. We move on to Chalabinsk now, where Drakta faced the mighty SKA St. Petersburg. The Vyas to strike first, Vladimir Kachov scores his second of the year and meet through the first period while Yuri Lecter and Sergei Plotnikov pick up the assist. Drakta respond with three goals in a row in the second period. Of course, Lukas Sedlak scores his second of the season as well, while Thomas Dika registers his first career KHO point on the play. They get him the lead 30 seconds later. Andrew Caleb goes for a centering pass and the puck goes in of David Rumlin. A few minutes later, we get to see a fight. Roslan Carlin and Vladimir Kachov go at it. You don't expect to see Kachov in a fight, but there you have it. Rocker improved their lead to 3 1 a little later as Chris Thomas risked to pass Pedro Kachikov for his first of the year. But get a load of this as he ate that up before the intermission. Michigan Garlitsky one times it home to make it 3 2. And in the very next shift, Yuri Lecter gets the puck from Alexander Borobotov and beats Vasily Demchenko, where it's at the threes. He goes to overtime and Sergei Plodikov scores the winner, while Kachov picks up an assist. SKA overcome a two-goal deficit and take it 4-3 in overtime. Our next stop is in Yaroslavl, where Lokomotiv take on Spartak Moscow on their season opener. Loko get on the board six and a half minutes in. Michael Petrovsky scores his second career KHL goal, while Denis Alexeyev draws the only assist. But everything changes in the second period. Seven minutes in, Yakov Rulov puts the puck on net from the blue line, and Alexander Kovalchev buries the rebound. Spartak make it a 2-1 hockey game less than two minutes later. Grishnevsky slams it home from the right circle for a power play goal. A few minutes later, another Spartak defenseman finds the back of the net. This time it's Andrei Kutekin who pulls the trigger and beats Ilya Navala from the point. And just 40 seconds later, they extend their lead to 4 1. Ilya puts it home from the spot while 17 year old rookie Alexander Nikishin picks up his first career KHL point. 
Lock up, get a goal back early in the third period. Zaya Reddit scores his first career KHL goal to make it 4 2. Spartak still have the last word in this one as Ilya Talaluyev nets his second of the night to put it out of reach. Spartak spoil the season opener for Craig McTavish and Lokomotiv as they win 5 2 on the road. Battle of Dynamos is on next. Dynamo Moscow go up against Dynamo Mins. Moscow have a chance to score a quick one here as Andrew Patterson breaks loose, but he can't put it past his countryman Yana Sandrod. A little later, Moscow almost can run on a power play, but Mikko Tchaikovsky bangs it off the crossbar and the fun goes out of play. Instead, it's Minsk who opened up the scoring. Ivan Bucharov sends the puck around the rim and Timo Pulkinen sends it in from a bad angle. Moscow gets back even early in the second period, but Yushu Pachov slides the puck in for his second of the year. And they get in the lead in no time too. Yushu Maiseyev receives a long pass at the right wing and puts Dynamo up 2-1. Late in the second period, Andrei Miranov delivers a huge hip check on Evgeny Conversion. That's what the fans came to see. At the end of the shift, the fight breaks out as well. Mitchum Moisea from Roman Dukov go at it and land a few good hands before Leitman break it up. Third period now, and Slava Kuloman improves the lead to 3 1 for Moscow. That's his second goal and third point in two games. Mitch almost get it right back as Alexander Kitarov shoots from the slot, and Alexei Denko looks for the rebound, but Ivan Pacharov stands tall and keeps it out. Soon after that, Ivan Bacharov plays the puck just over the goal line and gets a minor penalty for that. Means go on a power play, Andrei Kostitsin converts on it. Not gonna be enough though. Moscow protect their one goal lead and win their second game in a row. 3 2 is the final. We make a stop in Riga, Latvia now, where Dynamo defend the ice against Torpedo. Versus Gudlaskov gives his team a scare early on as he misplays the puck behind the goal and has to pull off two quick saves on Anton Shelfet and Stanislav Bucherov. Dynamo just that to pull it there. Riga strike twice in the second. First, Brandon McMillan converts in a power play while Christopher Berglund crosses his first career KHL point. Soon after that, Lithuanian defenseman Nerys Alishauskas has his third career KHL goal as it tips Christoph Zilis Clapper. And early in the third period, McMillan scores his second of the game. It counts on a power play as well, and with that, Dynamo sealed the deal. Versus Gulaski pulls 25 saves for a third career KHL shutout, and Dynamo win 3 0 on all ice. And just a few more scores to tell you about. Nigel Doss scores two goals and three points as Uptown Belize defeat Vitas 3 2 in Yekaterian Borg. And finally, Sochi win their home open a 3-2 against Neftokimek. Sean Collins with the game-winning goal. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for three more games, including Boris Amor and Yoker vs. Aquarius. My name is Andreas Hashinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.